you know, landlords would outrightly say, no foreigners. Yeah, I notice when I go in stores and stuff, I'm followed around like real close and stuff. And I notice they don't do that for other people, so yeah. I don't think I'll ever find a job. <laughs> I think Japanese are a bit lonely people. Even though I grew up in Japan, living here is a quite a challenge for me. So I can only imagine what it is like for foreigners. So today I'm going out on the streets asking foreigners about the struggles and challenges they face in Japan. Let's go! Okay, so what struggles have you had living in Japan just in the past few weeks? Like, for example, wearing masks because mm. Uh, many of the foreigners, they, you know, in Europe, they don't wear masks anymore. Right, and right. so here, if I have a mask on, I don't have a mask, I get those looks of like, oh, right. she's not wearing a mask or right, something right. like this. So look at me, I'm sweating. <laughs> it is so hot in Japan. And like, especially working in a corporate Japanese environment where right. everyone's wearing a suit and tie. I'm literally coming to work drenched in sweat. And no one else in Japan sweats. I thought, I thought Australia was pretty hot too. Yeah, but everyone sweats in Australia. <laughs> no one sweats here in Japan. I didn't get right. that Asian gene. It's very difficult to make friends in Japan, mm -hmm. to have like a, a very close contact, like deep right. contact. I think Japanese are a bit lonely people. Yeah, they don't okay. really want to have a contact with somebody, right. not, not, not that much. To be honest, it's a bit lonely. It's not like I can't make friends or anything, right. but with natives or locals, right. it's pretty hard to become friends with them because right. I don't get the cultural references that they do. I didn't right. grow up here. I don't have any roots here like that. Right, right. And I can't even use the, oh, I'm a foreigner pass because I'm not a foreigner in their eyes. So then. Right. I'm kind of just like outcasted, you know. Okay, okay. Yes, you know, we've been to Fujisan yesterday and there was no uh, trash in the street. So we have to take our trash in the bag okay. and try to find a that's been somewhere, which sure. is different from our country. Uh, I would say mainly the language barrier. Like, of course, I don't speak Japanese yet. Right. Getting around, transporting, because, you know, uh, I got to read the signs and stuff, and they're in right. Japanese as well. Traveling with the train system and everything okay. is, was, like, a big change right. for me. To know, like, where you have to go and, uh -huh. like, how you get there. With Google Maps, it's okay, but right. it is complicated because there are, like, so many options right. and ways to get to your destination. You know, you live in a society where majority of the people are Japanese, right. looking how we look, right. and... Uh, uh, you know, Japanese people not growing up in a diverse culture. You know, right. some things may come off rude for me right. in my experience, but you know, I sometimes gotta remind myself that try to look from their perspective. So you know, obviously, I look Asian. Right. <laughs> so everyone here just assumes that I'm Japanese, mm. but you know, I'm Vietnamese and from Australia. So when people come up to me, they always speak to me in Japanese, mm -hmm. and then I look at my friend who looks Caucasian. I'm like, it's him. Right, right, right. <laughs> he knows Japanese, but right. they'll continue speaking to me, and I feel like. I've disappointed them. I like to find a job while I have nothing to do. Right, and it's right. kind of hard because I can't really speak the language super well. And so when they tend to speak very fast, I'm very confused. I don't think I'll ever find a job. <laughs> Have you guys faced any discrimination because you're a foreigner? Uh, yeah, I feel like there is a bit of uh, racism out here. They don't exactly accept uh, African Americans. So, right. yeah, I notice when I go in stores and stuff, I'm followed around like real close and stuff. And I notice they don't do that for other people. So, yeah, I am treated differently than other people. I mean, they're nice people. I'm, don't get me wrong, right. but you'll see it sometimes. Right, right. I live in Osaka. Like, it's pretty chill. Like, I've never faced the discrimination in down Osaka. Like, is Osaka a bit different from Tokyo? Yeah, there's too many damn people here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm maybe like 20 minutes ago, a taxi driver didn't even stop for us when I was just calling a taxi. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's probably one of the easiest examples. Right. Like, you see right. me, they don't want to pick me up. Right. Maybe they'll stop, you know. During Corona, actually, we got super many bad looks when right. I was speaking Chinese. Right, right because of the coronavirus, but right. I think it's getting better now, and I'm not ashamed of it, obviously. For sure. I wouldn't say it's a struggle, but whenever I'm speaking English on the phone, literally like old people break their necks right. and give me the best stare. The hardest time was when I was trying to find an apartment. There was a lot of times where, you know, landlords would outrightly say, no foreigners. I would ask my realtor like, oh, like I'll pay extra. <laughs> and yeah, they'd be like, dumb it. <laughs> it took me like up to six months. They'd find out we're not Japanese. Right, right. And then they'd be like, yeah, next. Lastly, like, if there's anything you could change about Japan, what would it be? I don't know how you would do it, but maybe like somehow like, you know, include more, more diversity in this way. Uh, I would want Japanese people, you know, stop being shy and speak speak their true feelings. You know, I feel like Japanese people, they don't speak their true feelings because they right. want to please people. I wish people were a little bit more like friendly in a way. I'm used to the American way where people kind of just talk to whoever and right. they're kind of more open. Of right, course, right. like Japan has its really good sides, but that's probably the one thing where they kind of keep to themselves right. a little too 
too much, right. I would say. Probably the price, because <laughs> it's super expensive here, and obviously our parents have to work really hard for the money, right, right. and I hate asking them for money, but then right. at the same time, I don't have a job right. to save up, and then right. I can just go shopping sometimes, as you can see. Maybe reducing the working hours or right. raising the minimal wage or something like right. that, because that like this, by the way, it's very high here because right. very many people get overworked, so I think right. that's a huge problem. Right. Um, I feel like it would be the follow culture. I think that I'm not quite sure, but right. the Japanese government said um, right. something about not having to wear masks, especially right. in the heat of the heat strokes and everything that right, people right. get, maybe. Many Japanese just wear the masks because the others around them are wearing right. them. I feel like if that's broken up a little bit, then mm -hmm. that could be something that they could Hopefully change. In the future. Yeah. I think I would change the style. In my head, like Tokyo specifically is kind of more conservative. Right. Um, when you're out in like Shibuya or like Shinjuku, it's like kind of maybe a little bit more trendier. But when you go out into like the suburban areas, right. everyone is like super conservative and super monotone. Like I wear right, right. like all black, but I'm just like, oh, like maybe a little bit more. Oomph. 